exciting day because the 2000s are back, baby. So I have been seeing these zebra pants all over Instagram and on TikTok in some style videos, and I really wanted a pair. So I went to find some, and I found that they're either expensive or fast fashion, like Sheen. So I decided I was going to try to make them. So I went to Goodwill, and I found these. These are mom jeans. They are 9 West. Can't get more mom jeans than that. And they have a little flare bottom, which is back in style. Or not really flare, but it's like a wide leg. The other things that you're gonna need are a zebra stencil. This one's from Amazon, link below. And fabric paint. So let's do it. I set the stencil down straight on, and then you just push it down and take the edge. I found that the best method for this is just to squirt the paint directly into the stencil and then spread it out with your paintbrush. Well, the first square is done. Um, right there, as you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the stencil up like this so that this line can continue into this and go ahead and tape it down. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good. I think this one I'm gonna attach into this, and then um, this I might bring down a little bit. First front part is done, so now I'm gonna fold it in half. go around the edge. So I'm just going to fold the whole pant in half. I lined up the stencil so that the lines can continue. So this is how it looks right now. And I'm just lining it up to whatever makes sense. Another huge tip I have for you is to wipe down the stencil every time you move it to a new place. Otherwise, paint will get stuck on it and it will stain the leg in spots that you don't want. So most of the designs I saw were just stripes over the whole crotch area. They didn't like spread out from one side to the other. So basically what I'm gonna do is get it as flat as possible and then just tape it over like this. I'm gonna start from the middle and then work my way out so that the stripes on the sides and just continue on to the back. 